Hey Great Dramas, today <clears throat> we're having a look at the 29 year old Glenn Marnock from Aldi. Uh, limited to 11,000 bottles, 40% 40, 40 ABV, and that's actually all we know about it. There is no more information at all, because uh, it's a, you know, one of those kind of classic uh, supermarket releases that's incredibly good value and like the Glenmarnock 28 year old from a couple of years ago, actually about three and a half years ago, um, which was unbelievable. And the Irish 26 year old, uh, Special Reserve, which I won't lie to you, I bought, I think eight bottles of that. Very, very good. Rumored to be Bushmills, by the way. I never told you. Um, but this one, genuinely don't know where it's from. There's all kinds of rumors knocking around that it's from the Dalmore um, and other kind of distilleries, but, the reality is we do not know where it's from. All we do know is it's 29 years old, single malt, so from one distillery, and it's been in those oak casks for exactly 29 years. And Aldi are able to do this, by the way, and like Lidl as well, as they were incredibly smart when the last whiskey downturn happened. They happened to just buy a load of Scotch whiskey and sit on it, um, mostly because they didn't know what to do with it, so it was a lot of luck but it was also being in the right place at the right time. And so they've managed to ride that wave and now are able to release affordable um, single malt whiskies at really high ages. And I think this was 49.99 for a 29 year old single malt. Fine, you don't know where it's from. Fine, it's 40% ABV, which is you know, a tad upsetting. A little bit more uh, from it sometimes, but value cannot argue. So, Whiskey Whiskers is in the house, by the way. Uh, this guy needs to be nosed. Right. So on the on the nose, incredibly perfumed and incredibly floral. Two things I don't actually like in a whiskey, which is a bit annoying. But when you get past that, you're getting through to kind of like candied uh, citrus fruits, like those candied fruit sweets. Lemon citrus and lime citrus kind of working together, but also fighting each other a little bit. Mm. It's quite sweet, nice actually. Lots of vanilla. As I guess, this is uh, not natural colour. It does not say that, but it does say dietary information suitable for vegetarians. So. Praise be. That perfumed note comes back again. It's not actually as, as obnoxious and as uh, in your face as other perfumed whiskies, which it does do my head in. Mm. Mm. And it's very different. Very sweet, very, very fruity. Really easy drinking. It's not a not an ounce of burn now. Wow. That's exceptionally smooth. Maybe it's a lower ABV than kind of, maybe that's in my head. But the reality is, that is a very well composed 29 year old single malt Scotch whiskey. Um, Yeah, that that holds up with, bear in mind, if I look around, look around the room, I can see a 26 year old Glenfiddich, uh, which cost me about 300 and something pounds. Got a, even down to, let's roll it around, 25 year old Lefroy, closer to 400 pounds. A, oh, 20 year old, Exceptional cast out of Felby, 250 pounds. That's a lot of money to pay for a bottle of whiskey. That one for 50 quid. Well, actually, it's not my favorite whiskey in the world. That perfume note is it's getting on my uh, getting on my uh, nerves now, because uh, it is repeating on the finish. But in terms of flavor, and in terms of something interesting, that's pretty cool. And for spending less than 50 pounds on that, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, 
Nice. Until next time. Cheers.